One thing you have with walk-ons is they give great moral support, they give great energy, they're in practice every day cheering, clapping, diving on the floor for loose balls. They, they create a lot of energy, not only in practice, but also in the game. They work so hard in practice, and there's a lot of games they don't get an opportunity to play, but when they get an opportunity to play and make a shot, the guys understand what they go through, so it's a family, and they're excited for them to have some success. They do a great job of coming in, heads up, ready to do whatever they need to do. I mean, some practices a guy could be banged up, so they got to jump in and be ready to practice full time. I think Tyler did that the other day, and he came in, ran the offense like he'd been practicing all year. I've always been really competitive. That kind of makes me makes me strive to to be like the best that I can be. Um, and I, I just love coming out here and, and competing every day with some of the best players in the nation. I think Tyler is a great young man. He's been a joy having around here uh, this year, being a freshman. Uh, he's a very hard worker. Uh, he listens well and uh, he competes each day in practice, which the coaches, as well as the players, in particular the starters, they need that from, from guys like Tyler Coons. I'm extremely blessed and thankful for it. It means the world to my family, to me, just to come out here and, and be able to participate in all this and, and give my best, and I'm really thankful for it. This year we added uh, Ike and uh, Robert to our uh, team. And those two guys are bringing a lot of energy, and the guys really love him. Rob's one of the hardest workers on the team, I'd say. So he uh, he comes in and works like that, and it just like rubs off on everybody else. I've been uh, wanting to try out for the uh, UCF basketball team. It's like uh, pretty much been a goal of mine. I've been playing since high school, and living in uh, Daytona Beach with UCF being like an hour away, I've always wanted to play here. With Isaac and Robert, what we need out of them is every day is to push the guys, you know, play the scouting team, uh, get up in them when they having one of those days they don't feel like attacking them. They've done a great job of making us better. Isaac is like the grandfather of the group. I would say father, but he's probably like older, like times two than anybody else. I think Isaac's like 44, 45, I'm not sure. My name is Isaac Lang, I'm 28 years old. I know for a fact that he heard Martin Luther King's speech. I know he was there for that. They jokingly call me Pops or Grandpa, but instead of uh, running from it or you know, seeing it as something negative, I, I actually embrace it. I like it because it, it helps me relate to them that sometimes the coaches might not be able to. We call Isaac Lang Pops, Grandpa, Old Timer. Pops, yeah, pretty much. I mean, his story is pretty incredible, this, just how he ended back up here at UCF. What made me stop playing basketball? Uh, my parents passed away. My junior year, my mom, my senior year, my father. I just chose to take some time away from basketball and focus more on my family. That's a great role model for us when it comes to, you know, a, a really happy family, and they're doing a good job. I have a family of three, uh, two boys, one girl. It's something that um, I cherish every single day, knowing that they're there to see me do what I love. Bobby One is a coach on the floor. I think Bobby is definitely going to be a uh, college basketball coach. I love basketball. I love to win, and my energy is fueled from anything positive. It's in Bobby's blood. He wants to be around the game. Uh, I think for his entire life, and he'll he'll make that happen for himself. I take bits and pieces from from every coach I, I meet and learn from. Bobby's a learner. He wants to learn not only what players do and what they think. He wants to learn what the coaches do and what we think as well, and, and that's what it takes to be a good coach. You always have to be doing your homework, learning, and trying to ask questions so you can become more knowledgeable about the game and how players are. He's taking full advantage of the opportunity that he has to be around people like Coach Jones, Coach Brendan Sir, Coach Finney, and others on the staff, uh, and is really taking everything in, and I think uh, one day he'll benefit tremendously from that. What it comes down to, I just want the best for our team. And a lot of times they don't get rewarded with playing time, but what they do off the court or in practice, it really has helped our program. I think they're, they're invaluable to any program when you have walk-ons that can contribute that way. Hey everybody, come out on January 23rd and watch us face Rice.